Hey, what's going on? Charles Austin here. So I'm just going to get straight to the point and I'm going to tell you exactly who this video is for. Okay. So if you consider yourself uh, black, if you consider yourself African American, um, if you consider yourself more, right, Moorish, uh, and you're a woman, this is for you. So who is this for? This is for uh, Moorish, black, African-American women. This is who this is for. So <clears throat> here are some things that we've heard over the years. And all of y'all have heard this. We've been using this uh, forever. Here's some of the things we've been using over the years. All right. Um, you know, so-and-so isn't, she isn't overweight. She's big boned. Okay. She isn't overweight. She's big boned. Um, or we've been hearing, well, these are just curves. Okay. I'm curvy. Okay. Or we've been hearing, um, I got it in the right places. Okay. Right. Um, or we've been hearing, um, this is right for my, this is the right weight for my body type. Um, I'm sure there's other excuses that we've heard over the years, but that's what, that's what we've been hearing. Okay. It hasn't been coming from the men. Okay. These are the excuses that you've been making. Okay. Um, and I think it, it, we're tired of it. You should be tired of it, but I'm not going to get out here and say that I speak for the men and all that stuff. I'm not going to do that. I'm speaking for me. Okay. But I'm tired of hearing it. Okay. I'm tired of hearing it as number one, as a man who loves his Moorish women. I want nothing but the best for my Moorish women. So called black African American. I want the best for y'all. Y'all are queens. Y'all are the most beautiful women on the planet. You, if you go back to that old song uh, um, by Ludacris back in the day, and the fancy cars, the women in that, I don't own the rights to that tune. Okay, I'm just singing a song. All right, I don't own the rights to that. But uh, the fancy car, the women in the caviar, right? And it goes. There's one part of the song where it says. Cause they're talking about. He, he's talking about all the parts of the world that he's been and he's seen beautiful women. And then at one point in the song, somebody says, but where are the best? And then Ludacris says, there ain't even no need of even asking, bruh. The best women all reside in Africa. So what is he talking about? Literally telling you what, like, let's be real. Like, we know this. All right. So what I'm saying is some of y'all are going to listen to this video and be like, oh, he's attacking. Man, whatever. If you take this as he's attacking you, then I don't care. Un, you can unfollow me you can unlike whatever you need to do but i'm about to tell y'all the truth so for the people who really for the for the women like i said i told you who this is for for the women who really want to hear the truth here we go all right let me show you some data because no before i show you the data i'm not really going to be on my this is going to be quick the point is you're too big and you have too much disease and you make excuses for it Okay, you're too big, you have too much disease, and then when you want to throw something else into it, you're wondering why am I single? Why am I single? Well, the answer is you're too big. That's like the easiest answer. Okay, now I know, I know some people are going to watch this and be like, well, he's a fitness coach, he can't say that. So what you're saying is, as a fitness coach, I can't tell the truth. Nope. If I'm a fitness coach, that means I'm a scientist and I deal in facts. So here's some of the facts. Okay. Here's some of the facts. Let's look at this. What does it say right here? All right. Now you can scroll the article or whatever. Right. But look at the title of the article. The average black woman's weight in America. Right. Here we go. Let's keep scrolling. They got this nice, nice looking sister right here on the scale. All right. 
And then it says, according to the data from the reports used, the average black woman's weight in America is around 186 pounds. 186 pounds. Now, what does that mean? Because some of y'all are going to be like, well, if you, like we already said, some of y'all are going to be like, well, he carry, he, I carried in the right places. I carry in the right places. Okay? Let me tell you what that means. Let's go look up a BMI chart. Okay? Let's go look up a BMI chart. All right? Oops. Wrong one. Where's my BMI chart? There we go. All right. So what this means is if the average weight, because as you can see, this is basic math. This is basic math. We have an X and a Y axis here. This is basic. We got height over here and we got weight over here. Okay? That's what we got. So, here we go. If you're going to weigh around 186 pounds, you can see that somewhere in this general vicinity, there's the weight 18190. So we're kind of like running right down this area right here. Let's see how tall you have to be to have a healthy weight if you're going to be 186 pounds. Six foot two, where's six foot two about right here, takes you over, yeah. So you need to be at around six foot two in order for you to be in a healthy range, give or take a few inches or a few centimeters or whatever, but you need to be about six foot two um, in order to have a healthy weight. Now, I don't know what the average height for women is, but I'm going to look it up right in front of y'all. Okay. All right. Average. Oh, wait, y'all can't see me typing. All right. Hold up. Where is it? There we go. Average. I'm typing it live. Average height. G I G H T for uh oh it's hard to type in keep this thing still y'all for women because we just said that you have to be at least six foot two we just said you have to be about six foot two in order for you to have a healthy weight because the average black woman weighs 186 pounds so you have to be six foot two but the average height is five foot four. That's almost a full foot. That's almost a full foot. Okay? So the average height is 186 pounds, but the average height is five foot four. Okay? Let's just go back to the BMI chart real quick, just so we can see what that means. So if you're five foot four, and your weight is in the 186 range, what does that classify you as? That classifies you as obese. Okay? All right? And if you don't know, the yellow is overweight. Okay? The orange is obese. And the red is morbidly, like dangerously obese. The only color that matters here is the green. Give or take. You know, a few pounds, a few inches. Okay? So if the average height is 5 foot 486, that puts you into obese category. Okay? And that's the average height. That doesn't include the 5 foot 4, 200 pound women. That doesn't include the 5 foot 5, 210 pound women, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right? Now, here's the, here's the other thing. Let's look at this one. This is average body weight for women in the U.S., all right, and look at this from 1999 to 2016 or whatever. You see that one at the top? Who do you think that is? Right there. Right there. So it's consistently been this way for some time. Right? Consistently been this way for some time. All right? So here we go. You want some more you want some more data? All right? What is obesity? Obesity in African Americans? Well, here we go. Where is this source? This is the Health and Human Services. Okay? Right here. And it says, African American women have the highest rates of being overweight compared to other groups 
in the United States, about four out of five African American women are overweight or obese. These are not my words. These are not my words. I'm literally just the person that's reporting the data. So, why did I make this video? Because I'm tired of it, dude. I'm tired of people getting in their feelings saying, you can't say that. You can't tell me what I can and cannot say. If you're fat, you're fat. For example, this is a beard, all right? Human males grow them. What did I just say that's not true? Tell me something I just said about, about beers is not true. Is anybody mad? No, nobody's mad. Now, when I go see a sister who's five foot four, 200 pounds, and I say, you're obese. They say, how dare you? Because I told the truth, man. If you don't get up out of here with that, I told the truth. Okay? So... Again, I'm not only about stating problems, I'm about the solution. So for all the people who uh, toughed out this little short live video long enough, here's the solution. And you're going to notice every time I give you a solution for a common problem, the solution is quite similar. The solution for not being the largest group of women in the country, the solution is stop eating crap and move. That's the solution. I go to the gym five to six times a week. I barely see my sisters in the gym. Okay? I've been a health coach, personal trainer, nutritionist, fitness coach, group exercise instructor, whatever you want to call me. Because I pretty much fit all of those labels. I've been doing this for 20 years. But that, I, I, can, I can count on one hand how many of my clients have been my sisters. I can count on one hand. Other people want my other people want help. Other groups of women want help. But but maybe not on one hand. Maybe I exaggerate it. But the point I'm making is that it's the minority in the statistics. Because what happens is, and you can go to you can go to any of the posts I've ever made on this medium. You can go look at some of the stuff that I've said over the years. And who the haters are. Who the haters come up. Who, who attacks me first. Okay. It's my sisters. Who I love. And they won't even hear that. Some of them won't even hear that. I'm, I didn't already say it. I love you more than once. I've already said I love my sisters more than once. And any, anybody who really know, Again. For all these people who judge me on the surface. And who don't really like know. Like then. You haven't taken the time to hear what I'm saying. People who actually know me know for a fact that I'm actually trying to help you. Okay? But here's the thing. The first people to hate on me and detract when I say things is my own sisters, whom I love. Because they don't read the facts that I put out. The facts that I put out that could literally save their life. Help them get a man. Ooh, better not say that. Better not, you know what? We're about to do another one. We're about to do another test of something that I already know. And I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, did I? Oh, hold up. Let me flip it. Here we go. All right. What I'm trying to type and hold are men attracted to first in a woman? There's the search. What are men attracted to first in a woman? All right. Okay. We got smile, sense of humor. Mm. 
I know some of y'all are going to say, oh no, he's going to use another source because any man who was looking at this video knows this ain't true. Okay, so let's find it. Oh, uh oh. Subconsciously, a man will be more attracted to a woman whose physical traits present her as being repu rep reproductively fit. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Now that's subconsciously. I don't know. Let's see. Uh oh, here's another one. Secretly, men who find women attractive secretly, but we don't really talk about it. What are you talking about? We don't talk about it. I mean, we talk about this all the time. Initial attraction. What does this say? Sexual chemistry. How can you have sexual chemistry if I'm not attracted to you? It's impossible. Okay. All right. Yo, here's another one. What do guys like in women? 12 traits. What's number one? What's number one? Sexy femininity. Okay. Oh, wait. Is this, is this the other way around? Oh, yeah, no, no. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. That seems kind of weird. They're talking about women tend to like strong. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about men anyway. All right. Uh oh, here go another one. She takes care of her physical appearance. Men are visual creatures. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click this one. I just wanna see what this this one says because this one was titled "The Science, The Science of What Attract Men to Women," and I haven't vetted any of this, so I'm literally just going. Um, let's find it. All right, let's find it. I'm about to be done with this video. I'm about to be done. Ooh, look at this. When discussing the biological factors of attraction, it's important to remember that humans are members of the animal kingdom. Okay? At the biological level, love is literally chemistry. Okay? All right. Mm, they're going to science on this. Can't really find what I'm looking for because it's too much reading. But anyway, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. I scroll past how many articles where they talking about men like they want to see if they're sexually attractive first. Are they reproductively fit? Do you know that the more obese you are, the harder it is to reproduce? Did you know that? Okay. I'm almost done. I said it was going to be short, but I don't care how long it takes. Let's go do another search. Let's type in obesity. Oh, let me do it. So y'all know this is live. I don't, bull I don't bullshit. Obesity and... Let's just type in... You got to know what the research. Reproductive health. And I need to do it in women. So before I, I do this one, I need to switch it again. There we go. Obesity and fertility in women. How about that? How about that? So I'm typing, ob listen, look at what I just typed. Obesity and fertility in women. Okay. And what is the first thing that pulls up? Obesity can reduce fertility in women. Again, and men, but we're not, this ain't what this video is about. So if everybody want to be like, what about me? I'm not talking about men. Obesity can reduce fertility in women. Okay. Now, we just got through looking at the video, the, the, the articles where it says, what do men look for in women first? Sexuality, uh, f see if they're physically fit, their look, uh, their reproductive fitness. So, if men look at women, and we're talking about when they first meet. We're not talking about when you've been married for 30 years. We're talking about when you first meet. When a dude's out on the prowl. I don't like if I say the word prowl. But you know what I mean. If a dude is out, you know, looking for a mate, a match. And he's looking, he's, he's scanning. He's scanning, is this woman reproductively fit? I just showed it to you. If you want to deny what I just said as fact, I literally just showed it to you. And if you're still denying it, you're stupid. If you're still denying what I just showed you, you're stupid. So, 
men look for reproductively fit women. And then I show you that if you're carrying too much weight, that means that it reduces your fertility. Therefore, you have selectively removed yourself from being selected as a mate. But that's not what it's about. It's not really about relationships. What this really is about overall is your health, your happiness, right? And part of your health and happiness includes being able to find a mate to reproduce with. At the end of the day, when you study history, you know when we go back to our most ancient selves, it's about the man, the woman, and the child. You cannot have a child without a man and a woman. And if the man does not want to reproduce with you, you ain't going to have no children. Not only that, you're going to have an increased risk for all type of diseases. Not only that, you cannot find me a woman that exists on planet Earth, who can say that their confidence and self-esteem is higher as their weight goes up. Okay? And I said it's going to be short, but I'm, I'm, uh, mm -mm. every time I think of something else, uh, we got to do it. So I'm about to show y'all something else. I'm about to show y'all one more thing. I think this might be the last thing. This might be the last one. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. Where is that? Watch this. All right. So I'm about to show y'all something. My video paused a second ago. Sorry about that. Um, what I'm trying to do on my screen right now is pull up um, the whiteboard, digital whiteboard, so I can show y'all something. There we go. So I'm pulling it up, I'm trying to get the pen ready. What I want, just regular black ink. Let's we'll see how that looks. No, that's a little too light. I need it a little bit thicker. There we go. All right. So, I was just talking about, and this is what we're going to do. And excuse the handwriting, I'm writing on my, my computer with um, my finger, but there's this thing in math. Again, I only don't, I use these math and science examples on purpose. So what we have is, sometimes we have these things called uh, inverse, right? Inverse relationships. I'm not going to spell it all the way out, whatever. Well, I guess I can't relation. This the thing is having a hard time keeping up with my my. But anyway, we have these things called inverse relationships, right? So, what an inverse relationship means basically is this: when something goes up, the other thing goes down. That's an inverse relationship. All right. So, for an example, um. Let's just use a simple one. As age goes up, um, like on average, on average, like your muscle mass kind of goes down as your age goes up, right? For several factors. But we're not here to talk about that. But I just wanted to give you all an example of what I'm talking about. So as age goes up, your muscle mass generally goes down, okay? Now, a second ago, I was talking about all the reasons why my sisters, my black women, my African-American women, and what we really should be calling this, we really should be saying our Moorish women. But anyway, uh, this is about, I, I was talking about the fact that all the way, reasons why they need to stop the excuses they need to stop lying to themselves and they need to take care, better care of their body and their health. OK. And one of the examples I said was that there's not a woman of any ethnicity. There's not a woman that's going to sit up here and truthfully tell you that as their weight goes up, 
their self-esteem and confidence goes up. So what I really wanted to do was just to show you this is not this is not an inverse relationship. Okay? We got weight. All right? And we got confidence. And since I can't really spell it out, we'll just do it like that. Oh wait, this is oh my bad. This is inverse. Now that I wrote it out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is inverse. My bad, y'all. I was thinking about explaining it in a different way. But as your weight goes up, your confidence goes down. Any woman that tells you that this is not a true relationship is lying. Just assume they're lying. They're either lying or they're not in tune with reality. Okay? One of the most important aspects of a woman's confidence is her physical appearance. Okay? Why? Because subconsciously and at their most animalistic natural, natural, natural self, they know that when they're trying to attack the mate, their physical appearance is what attracts the mate. So if your physical appearance attracts the mate, and we've already established that, uh, where did it go? If we've already established that obesity reduces fertility, okay? Obesity reduces fertility in women, and what's the point of finding a mate? Reproduction. The more you, the heavier you are, the less confident you are going to be that you're going to be able to attract a mate. This is factual. It's non-debatable. And if you're trying to debate it, you're not in tune with reality. You're not in tune with nature. And you need to have several seats or move to the left or do whatever else it is that you do. Because there's nothing I can do for you. All right. So I think I'm going to wrap up here. But again, I'm going to close basically the same way I opened it. This video is directed towards women who refer to themselves as black or African American. But of course, we know the real term is Moorish. Okay. I'm not going to get into a, a law lesson here. The real, the real, uh, so y'all need to stop. As one of the men in your community who loves you and wants nothing but the best for you, my wife is in the same group as you. I have two daughters that's in the same group as you. Two. My mother is in the same group as you. I have a sister. I have a sister that's in the same group of you. Um, I have aunts and cousins that's all in the same group as you. So what the point is, I have nieces. I got four of them things. I got four nieces, two daughters, a wife. Like I said, all in the same category as you. And I love all y'all, but I'm also tired of the excuses. I'm tired of you attacking other men for telling you the truth. And I'm tired of you attacking me for telling the truth. So if this hurts your feelings, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to keep it PG-13. But if this, if this hurts your feelings, F your feelings. Okay? Somebody need to say it. And actually put it in a way that's coming from some. I'm an expert in this. If you don't, if you doubt that, go look at my reviews of the people that work with me. If you doubt that, jump on this live right now. And let's have a conversation about what we're talking about. If you doubt that, drop a comment, ask me a question, I'll answer it. If you doubt that, check my track record. All you got to go to do is, is go to fitnesscharles.com and go look at my reviews. That's all you got to do. Go to, go to fitnesscharles.com. And go look at my reviews. Go to my Facebook page that says Charles Austin Fitness and go look at my reviews. For the people that's actually work with me. Not you naysaying detracting women. I ain't talking about y'all. 
Okay? I'm not talking about y'all. Talking about the women who's actually taking the time out of their day to work with me, have a conversation, listen, and know that everything I'm saying is coming from the heart. And it's out of genuine sense to help you. But we're not doing the politically correct anymore. We're not doing that. Because obviously, let me tell you what the politically correct thing got you. The average black woman's weight is 186 pounds. That's what politically correct has gotten you. Right? Look at this. We want to know who we're talking about. That's who we're talking about. The black line is since 1999. These are the other group of women down here. Down here. Why is your line up here? Why is your line up here? Compared to everybody else. That's what politically correct has gotten you. African American women have the highest rates of obesity or being overweight compared to other groups in the United States. About four out of five African American women are overweight or obese. That's what politically correct has gotten you. And it's gotten you single too. It's gotten you very single. It's gotten you very extremely, extremely single. And we got to stop this, man. You out there destroy. Listen, look, I'm going to keep talking as long as I have new ideas that's coming. You got you're out there destroying the family. Oh, yeah, I'm happy to do a video talking to men for all for all the women that want to watch this and say he's only talking about us that's because that's who this video is for i'm happy to do a video about what the men are doing that's that's not right but that's not what we're talking about at this current moment and i'm trying to keep this health coaching try to keep this as related to fitness coaching and and uh health and and disease prevention i'm trying to keep it to that but you're really destroying families man like you really do you really destroying families. So you want to look at the stuff that's on TV? Matter of fact, man, shoot. Do I have time? I got all the time in the world, don't I? How long do you think it's gonna take take to find me? How, how long do you think it's gonna take for me to find? Let me, let me just play something. Let me find. I'm type. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm typing. Let's see, cause I'm on YouTube now. Being okay with obesity. All right, that's what I just typed in. I have no idea what the search results are gonna come up with, but let's just see. Can I find anything? Um. I don't know. Here, I'm going to just play this one. I have no idea what I, I... Listen. I haven't screened this video. I don't know what it's going to say. I did it live. But it looks like a good one to play, so I'm going to play it. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see you ever get dressed and just be like, damn, I look good? I did today. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hold up. Let's play that again. Let's play that again. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh I found another one I think I might play. Let's see how long that other one is. Okay. Let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and flip this thing over. All right. Let's play that again. Do you ever get dressed and just be like, damn, I look good. I did today. <laughs> Do you ever look in the mirror and think, damn, I'm delusional? I'm causing stress on my... Woo! 
She didn't, she didn't already told you everything you need to know. And guess who that was telling another one, another one of my sisters telling another sister, you're delusional. Talking about I look good. Man, please. Man, please. I've seen hippos smaller than that. Get out of here. Yeah, I said it. I don't give a care. I don't care. I've seen hippos smaller than her. Talking about I look good. No, you don't. No, you don't. All right. Let's see what this video. This look like a good video to play. Let's see what they talking about. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the entertainment. But there is this article written by Danene Milner, which says, "Stop weaponizing black women's weight against." Our health. Now, of course, Bruh. it's written by. I already know where this is, is going. Uh, actually, says 54 years old, five foot one and 173 pounds. That's obese. And Hold up. Of course, for all the people that don't believe it, he said five foot one, 173. Let's go to the chart. Let's go to the chart. There's five foot one, and let's go to 170. Let's line it up. It's in the orange. I knew it. Before they said it, and before I walked, looked at the chart, I knew it. I said, that's obese. But let's keep going since y'all want to be deniers. You want to be delusional. Let's let the rest of this play. See what else we can talk about. Of course, she's saying that um, unlike some of the contemporaries her age, like Mary J. Blige or J.L.R. J. Pinkett, who are thin and muscular and put together, um, if she doesn't look like that, then she's falling off and you know, on the verge of having a life-threatening disease, okay? And basically, she is Let's get to the point already, bro. the public blogging Let's... to the same, and she calls it Neanderthals. Let's get to the point already. Body shame Lizzo and question oh, her. did y'all just put her on the video? No, they did not just put her on the video, okay? Because we all know she obese. Let's go and do because all the ones that are like, I love Lizzo. I love Lizzo. Lizzo, wider than all outside. Get out of here. How much does Lizzo weigh? I bet they won't even have it on here. You probably can't even find it. Let's see. Oh, snap. That's her actual weight? Bruh, nobody ever looked this up. Does anybody look this stuff up? They just, all they do is they get in their feelings and they be like, Leave her alone, but they actually don't look up the real stuff. I just saw it. Where is it? Bruh, where is it? I just saw it. I'm scrolling all these ads. There you go. Lizzo's is five foot nine and a half inch in inches and weighs about two hundred and eighty seven pounds. Are you kidding me? And the, that's who you're looking up to to look like. And again, this is just the press of free. I'm just reporting. All I'm doing is reporting. I'm reporting. All I did is go to a website that anybody can go to, and I'm sharing it with you. That's the press of free. That's the press of free. I'm just reporting. I'm just reporting my findings. Right now, I'm researching the weight of African-American and black women. That's what I'm researching. I'm doing a story about it, and I'm doing the press of free and reporting what I find. So anybody got a problem with it, oh well. I can do this. Nobody. Look at it. The girl, 300 pounds almost. Oh, y'all want to go back to the BMI chart? Let's go back to the BMI chart. Five foot nine. This girl, dang, she's. This chart only goes to two ninety. That's as, that's as high as it goes. She way over here, in the red. She way over here. That's, you know what that is? That's morbidly obese. But let's go back to the video. Health or wealth. Uh, well, well, uh, well being for being, um, you know, for jokes, all right, and pretty much body shaming 
black women for what they look like. Bruh, oh. it's not body shaming if you call a spade a spade. I did a video about this on medication the other day. Body shaming. Tell me how it's body shaming when you say it is what it is. How's it body shaming? How's that body shaming? No, somebody came up. Somebody came up with a, a, a phrase. And it was probably somebody big. Okay, somebody big came up with this phrase. And they said, anytime you tell the truth about somebody's unhealthy weight. Anytime you tell the truth about somebody's unhealthy weight, you're body shaming. And then it, ca it caught on. And then they allowed... Then parents allowed this stuff to grow and fester with their children. And now, if you call somebody fat in school or big in school, it's bullying now. Nope. Nope. I'm not saying we should be picking on people. That's not what I'm for all the He's saying it's okay for all the people. He's saying it's okay to pick on people. I ain't say that. So for all the people, nobody's saying anybody should be bullied. Nobody's saying anybody should pick on people. And kids, the reason why... Ki here I go. I'm about to just tell the truth some more. Anybody who else just want to tell the truth, here I go. The reason why back in the day, and even nowadays, kids will call another kid fat is because kids tell the truth. Any parent, any parent out here knows that what I'm saying is the truth. Kids do not have filters. So they will say exactly what they think and they will say exactly what they see as truth. So when they look at so-and-so girl over there, so-and-so kid, whatever, and they look at them, they're like, they're fat. They don't mean it to be mean. They don't mean it. They're not trying to hurt your fit. They're just like, well, you're fat. And now that's bullying. Nope. You better tell that child that they need to they need to get control of this right now or this is going to be their life and for all the parents out here that's raising large children shame on you and i know i said i started this out let me re, let me bring this back because i don't want to this ain't i want to bring this back to what this is for let me be specific for all the black women and the, the black African-American women out there raising large, your large daughters, shame on you. Shame on you. And there's other communities of people we could talk about too, but that ain't who I'm talking about. I'm talking about my sisters. Shame on you. Because you're going to teach your daughter... Because you're big, most likely single, and you're going to teach your daughter the same stuff. You're going to feed her all this poison food. She's going to get big. And then when she gets bullied, you're going to tell her that they're body shaming. So she's going to grow up saying, everybody who tells me I'm big is being mean to me. That's how they grow up. So then you get people like Lizzo, you get people like her, come out here talking about, I'm going to be like me and, and being all caught and doing all the stuff. No. Hell no. I grew up, anybody who knows this show, uh, In Living Color, anybody know that show out there? Tell me, tell me what you, I remember watching the Fly Girls dance and they were all in shape. I remember a time when I used to go to the high school, foot, when I was in high school and I'm watching football or heck, when I was in high school, I was in marching band <laughs> for some of it. But I remember being at the games and I looked at the dance team and they were all in shape. I remember watching the cheerleaders tumble. I remember watching the cheerleaders tumble and do all their flips and their dances and stuff. 
And the cheerleaders were in shape. But now we got a situation to where some girl comes up there and she tries out for the team. She don't make it because the criteria for the dance team is like, you need to be able to do these type of tumbles. You need to be able to do this type of jump. You need to be able to do this type of flip. She literally can't do it. So then she goes and says, well, my mom raised me to say that if any of everybody ever said that I was too big or too fat or something, or I was too overweight, my mom said they're bullying. So now I'm going I'm to complain and cry. So then we had to let you on the team. But you literally can't meet the criteria for what it takes to be on a dance team. Anybody who's watching this or will watch this and you want to tell me that I'm not telling the truth, give me some receipts. Sure, you can find an outlier. Oh, yeah, so-and-so. What I'm saying is there was a criteria to be on the dance team. You didn't meet it because you were too big. So instead of losing weight, instead of getting in better shape, you cried about it. And then finagled your way into letting somebody get you on the team. So now you've, you've effectively lowered the standards for something that should be... Uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Something that should be, basically, you should have to meet the expectations of whatever it is you're trying out for. You cannot go out there and be like, I want to be on the soccer team. I'm going to go play the girls' soccer team. Because again, remember who I did this video is for. I'm going to go be on the girls' soccer team. All right, well, here's tryouts. We need to see if you can run uh, from that end of the field and that end of the field in a certain amount of time. That's the thing we make all of our grill trials do. You can't do it because you're too big. And uh, I know, right? Allows kids who cannot read to be waived. It's all the same. Exactly. Exactly, Brandon. Exactly. All right. So they say we're, we're going to have you try out and we need you to be able to go from this end of the soccer field to the other end of the soccer field in a certain amount of time. And you can't do it because you're too big. And then you say, well, I'm going to complain about it. Let me on the team. How? You didn't meet the criteria. So again, I'm going to go back. I'm going to let the rest of this video finish. And I'm pretty much going to wrap because I'm getting hungry now. I want to eat some food. Uh, actual food. I want to eat some actual food. I don't want to eat pork chops. I don't want to eat cheeseburgers. I don't want to eat pepperoni pizza. I don't want to eat fajita steak and cheese nachos. I don't want a milkshake. I don't want ice cream. Okay? I don't want fried chicken. I don't want that. I'm going to eat some actual food in a second. I don't want any of that. But I'm going to let the rest of this video play. And we're going to finish. We're going to wrap this up. Because remember, every time I get intense, I can bring it right back down. And remember, everything that I'm saying, I hope you hear my sisters out there. Because I love y'all. I think this is the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh time I didn't say it. I love y'all because I truly do. I love y'all. Y'all are beautiful. You're powerful. You're wonderful. You're amazing. We, us men... In the same community, we need you. Can't do anything without you. We need you. And for all the men that's watching the video saying, well, he said, he said he needs you, he weak. I'm strong enough to say that I need you. Any man that's going to sit up there and say that they don't want a healthy, beautiful, intelligent uh, woman behind them, this dude lying. Because I tell you what, I got me one and make my life so much better. So anyway, I love y'all. I'm trying to help y'all. Please listen to what I'm saying. Stop making excuses for being unhealthy. Stop getting your feelings hurt for being unhealthy. Stop complaining for being single. The reason why you're single is because you're too big. Okay? You're too big. Are there exceptions to the rule? Absolutely. So for all the people that's going to say, well, I'm big. Okay. I just said there are exceptions to the rule. You want me to go back to the jam board? Do some more teaching? Here we go. Let's go back to the board real quick. 
so we can we can clear this up real quick and we're gonna finish this video all right well, let's go back to the board so we got this thing that is called in math is called a normal curve all right so when you talk about any subject any type of statistical analysis everything that we're talking about on average lies in here okay that's why the curve is the largest at that point so for all the people that are saying well, I, 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 my, my homegirls those are called outliers and if you, if you haven't learned this in school shame on the school and shame on you yourself because you shouldn't rely on the freaking school to teach you you need to make sure you teach yourself that, this, this, these are called outliers everything that's outside the normal curve it's called an outlier. So the ones, these X's that you see there, all of this, there's a little arrow for you. All right. Those are the, the, the uh, obese. And again, I'm doing my best to write on here, y'all. Uh, women, there's a W, uh, with <laughs> men. Okay, so the outliers, they do exist. Here's the obese women with men, outliers. You see this curve in here? These are the fit women. Those are the fit women. Okay, yeah, I said it. I don't care. I don't care if your feelings are hurt. You need to hear it. I don't care. And this is coming from a guy. Let me tell you who I am real quick if you don't freaking know. You don't freaking know who I am. I study human physiology, exercise physiology, and nutrition in undergrad. My master's degree is in public health, which public health deals with the prevention of disease. That's what public health deals with, the prevention of disease. I have been certified as a personal trainer since I was 18 years old. I've been certified as a nutritionist for 15 plus years. I have been certified as a health educator for 15 years or so. Okay. I have been certified as a women's fitness specialist for like 10 years. I mean, I don't even know all the other stuff that I got. And not to mention the fact that I've worked in corporate, private, and commercial health and wellness since I was 18 years old. So I'm speaking from education, statistical study, and I'm also speaking from personal experience. So what I'm telling you is, you're too big. Now, let's finish this video. This video is good. Remember, we was talking about Lizzo and we looked her weight up and she was damn near 300 pounds. Talking about, yeah, she's hot. Man, get out of here. Get out of here. Right. She also discusses that, you know, people who are doing this sort of thing to black women, such as Lizzo, they fail to realize that black women themselves, women themselves are very conscious about what they look like. OK, that they already are talking about, you know, hey, we don't like our own bellies and things like that. And and, um, you know, so this guy just reported that the women themselves are telling telling are already reporting that there's things that they don't like. Anyway, I'm not going to interrupt anymore because I'm done. I told you I'm hungry. I'm about to finish. And, and those sorts of things. What was interesting about the article is that it wasn't like black men were the ones that were, you know, doing the body shaming. It appears that when she goes to the the, the physician, that's the problem. Okay, that her physicians are telling her. How much she weighs. She weighs too much. That her weight a couple years. Hold up. Listen to the video. This lady is talking about the fact that she went to a physician. And take physician with a grain of salt. Because they, they struggle with a lot of things. Matter of fact, physicians are some of the biggest reasons why we're already sick. Because all they do is prescribe medicine. That makes us sicker. Okay? So they are big they play a role in this too. So you're you ain't innocent. 
However, I don't I, I respect physicians because they put in a lot of study in science. So this girl is saying that she went to the doctor and the doctor said you're too large and that hurt her feelings. Let's flip the script. Let's say you went to the doctor and the doctor said you got cancer. Your feelings gonna be hurt. You go to the doctor, the doctor say, you have cancer. Uh-uh, how dare you? You cancer shaming. That's the same thing. And I want somebody to tell me it's different and provide some receipts. Tell me how that's different and give me some receipts. And when I say receipts, give me some evidence. Tell me how that's different. That's like you going to the doctor. Here's another example. You want something less, less, uh, uh, combative, you don't want, you don't want to use cancer, cause we know cancer sucks. Everybody knows that. Nobody wants cancer. Cancer sucks. I hate cancer. That's why I'm trying to teach you how to prevent it. But, let's use another example. Let's say you go to the doctor, they take an x-ray, they say you broke your leg. You're broken leg shaming. You sound stupid. Let's say you go, let's listen. Again. Don't get mad at me when I say the word stupid. You go to the doctor. They take an x-ray. They say, your leg is broken. Your response is, you're broken leg shaming. You sound stupid, which is no different than you going to the doctor. They say, step on this scale. And they say, uh-oh, your weight is in the obese range. You're too heavy. You're fat shaming. You sound stupid. Let's let the video play. Years ago, triggered in um, an automatic message from her insurance company, which told her to gently, uh, gently told her nice way to start exercising, eat more fruits, veggies, sleep more, and pretty much, as she says, get some weight off her big behind or die of some awful disease. All right? And she also talks about that, um, despite being five foot one, 173 pounds, um, she's healthy and her mother was skinny and died of a heart attack, okay, at age 62. So basically, she's tired of the body shame. And Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I hope y'all heard the same thing I heard. Girl just talks about the fact that her mom died of a heart attack. So her mom is dead. D-E-A-D. -E dead. Her mom is dead. So the doctor is actually doing what they're supposed to do. And they're saying, hey... You're probably going to want to eat some more fruits and vegetables. You know, you're probably going to want to try to exercise and stuff. And she's mad. Let's just let it play. And her weight isn't the only thing to be the standard barometer of somebody's health. Okay. Right? No, I can't help let it. Let me deal with this. I can't help it. So... In this scenario, if you didn't hear it in the video, I'm not going to replay it because you should have been paying attention. In this video, in this scenario, she's saying that when my mom died, she wasn't obese. Okay, are you hearing me? Her, this is what she's saying. My mother died of a heart problem. She wasn't obese. Therefore, obesity is not something that we should be, we shouldn't be talking, we shouldn't be saying you need to lose weight because it's unhealthy. Because skinny people die of heart problems too. Let me say it again so y'all can get it. She, her, her mom is dead, DEA dead. She was not overweight or obese or whatever. And what she's saying is because my mom died of this and she wasn't overweight or obese, you shouldn't be telling me to lose weight because that ain't the problem. Okay, let's go ahead and dispel that myth right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's, do, let's dispel that myth with uh, some facts. Here we go again. Uh, what, what am I looking for? Uh, again, for those who don't know how to research, this is gonna give you a 
101, how to research. Let's see. Uh, health. Listen to listen how health complications. That's what we're going to do. Complications. Talking about some health, obesity ain't the problem. Health complications. Oh, I don't even need to do it. It's already there. Okay, health complications of obesity. Okay. I don't care which one of these links y'all want me to click. You want me to just pick any random one? Because they're all going to say the same thing. But for those who like fancy government websites, let's, let's click the Center for Disease Control one. So you can see where I'm looking at. Okay, since some of y'all... All right. People who have overweight or obesity compared to those with a healthy weight are at an increased risk for many serious diseases and health conditions. These include... What's the first one say? All causes of death. I don't even need to say anything else. I don't even need to say anything else. But let's keep reading. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, stroke, gallbladder disease, osteoarthritis, sleep apnea, breathing problems, many types of cancer. But you sit up here saying, my weight ain't the problem. Shut up. Shut up. My weight ain't the problem. Yes, it is. Ugh. The whole body shame community. Because let me just say this. These women are entitled to their own opinion. Yep. The problem that I have it with it now is that now you're talking about positions. It, it was it was one thing for you to say, black man, accept me for what I Oops, am. Sorry. For who I am, my attitude, even hear oh, singers me, say that Mary J. Blige. Ooh, let me go me back. My kids. Let me go but back. It, it was it was one thing for you to say, black man, accept me for what oh, I am. Let me go back. Let me just say this: these women are entitled to their own opinion. The problem that I have it with it now is that now you're talking about positions. It, it was it was one thing for you to say, black man, accept me for what I am. You know, accept me. First, first answer to that is why, but okay. For who I am, my attitude, even hear singers say that Mary J. Blige sent me for my kids, those things. Okay, fine. Now all the why, why, sh why should you be accepted for that? But let's keep going. Give me a good reason. Go ahead and drop a comment right now and give me a good reason that gives me it gives an answer to that question. But anyway, let's keep going. Like, you know, like it hasn't working well for black women uh, in, in that regard because brothers are getting married less. But okay, fine. But now you want to take that attitude. What did he just say? What, what, what did he just say? Brothers are getting married less. He just said brothers are getting married less. Here's the normal curve of the women with men. These are the fit women and these are the outliers. And what does that say? Obese women with men, you are the outlier. You're the outlier. This is the normal curve. If you want to get inside the normal curve and you want to eliminate more of these outliers, you need to lose some weight. Towards people who get... I mean, they do this for a living. The young woman or the woman in, in, in this right, written this article, I don't believe that she is a qualified health professional. So basically, you're upset with your physicians for telling you about your weight when it it seems like, you know, if that was a case and you didn't want them to do it about your weight, and it seems like you're hearing it from more than one physician. You're hearing it from Maybe a family doctor, uh, also a, a OBGYN. You you're technically obese, but healthy as f because of you know these other things. But the reality is this: is that we are, we're, what I'm listening to and I'm hearing from some of these is you can't tell them anything. That's the issue. And that's where I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop it right there because I'm hungry. You can't tell them anything. And remember, he said qualified health professional. The the qualified health professional that's speaking is speaking right now. I'm another. Here's a qualified health professional right here. This guy. 
qualified health professionals are qualified to speak to you about your health. Qualified plumbers are qualified to speak to you about your plumbing. Qualified pilots are qualified to speak to you about how to fly a plane. Qualified architects are qualified to talk to you about how to, how to design a building. Qualified firefighters are qualified to tell you about how to control a, fly, a fire. Shall I go on? Why is it that somebody who knows what they're talking about qualified in a field that we're discussing, they can't tell you anything. It's not, it's not the health professional's fault. It's your fault. So again, let me wrap this video with the same way that I started. This video is for the women in the world that qualify themselves or, or count themselves as black or African American, right? Moorish women. That's who this is for. You're too big. You need to lose weight. And the result of not doing that is going to be more disease, more death, lower self-esteem, and less marriage, less children. That's the result. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, and X at Fitness Charles. On YouTube, my handle is Fitness Charles, a little hyphen in there because I couldn't find that handle. But you can find all the links to my social media on www.fitnesscharles.com. All right. Love y'all. Be happy, be healthy, be fit forever. Peace. See y'all next time.